Hello and welcome back to Game Domain. Today we will be taking a look at the pros and cons of the Black Ops 4 multiplayer and see where it stacks up in comparison to the other titles in the franchise. Now most of you are probably wondering if we will talk about Blackout in this video, and the answer is no. Although Blackout and parts of Zombies are multiplayer, we are just focusing on the regular multiplayer online play game mode in the game. So with all that being said, let's get into what we think of this fairly new game. Our very first thought when we heard that the 4th edition in Call of Duty's Black Ops series would not include a campaign mode, we were disappointed. But then we realized that this could only mean one thing, that they would have to focus on making the multiplayer as perfect as possible. Then speculation arose of a possible Battle Royale game mode, and for a while this was just talk with no true basis or facts to back it up. Then the official announcement of Blackout came, and fans were able to experience that in the beta available for players who pre-ordered the game. But in this video we are not talking about Blackout, but rather just the basics of the multiplayer and what we think is good about it and bad about it. The multiplayer consists of 55 levels, and of course, just as any other Black Ops game, you can prestige at level 55. This game's level up and progression system is very fair, and it is accelerated immensely when a double XP weekend comes around, but we won't see that again for a little while. There are a total of 5 different assault rifle options, 5 submachine guns, 3 tactical rifles, 3 light machine guns, 4 snipers, and of course a plethora of secondary options to use as well. Each gun has their own attachments that can be unlocked at different gun levels, just as any other Black Ops game. There are a few new maps, as well as some returning classics like Firing Range and Jungle. Before each game, you get to choose which specialist you want to play as, and each one has two of their own unique gimmicks, which charge up and can be used over a certain amount of time. The gameplay is relatively smooth, and the servers have been, for the most part, bug-free so far, but we're only a few weeks into the game's history, so we will have to wait to see how all this turns out. Now the main flaw that we want to address before we get to our final opinion of the game is the broken spawn points. Multiple times a game you will experience a scenario in which you spawn in right in front of or behind an enemy. This is most prevalent in game modes like hardpoint as they have to spawn you close to the hardpoint and sometimes it glitches out and somebody will be walking right by you as you spawn and you are met with some COD style fire and fury. This mistake is something that can be easily patched in a general bug fix update so that is why we won't let it taint our final opinion too much. So what is our final opinion you may ask? Well, just like all COD multiplayers, this game is incredibly fun. You can play endlessly and have fun every match, and until you get to max prestige, it always feels like there is something for you to do and that there is meaning in your play. But just because it is fun doesn't necessarily mean it is the greatest designed and executed game, so we are going to give it a final rating of 8 out of 10. Just to give you some other knowledge on this game from other game critics, Metacritic gave Black Ops an 89 out of 100 for the Xbox, Game Informer gave it 9.5 out of 10, and GameSpot gave it an 8 out of 10. So this addition into the Black Ops series certainly did not disappoint us, and we are certainly looking forward to Modern Warfare 4 next year. Right, MW4 guys? Oh, we can only hope. What did you think of our review? Did you agree with our rating? If not, what is your rating, and where do you think Black Ops 4 ranks among the other COD and Black Ops games? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And be sure to check out some of our more recent videos, which we will leave links in the description for, as well as our Discord and new info regarding new channel updates. Our Discord is open to you guys to come and chat with our staff members and each other about gaming, so don't be afraid to join. We also encourage you guys to download Cash for Apps using our link in the description. Cash for Apps is an app that allows you to get points for just downloading apps on your phone, and you don't even need to keep the apps. You can save up the points to use for gift cards for various different online stores, and some of the gift cards can be used to purchase V-Bucks for Fortnite. Stay tuned to Game Domain for more great content, and thanks for watching.